Demonic projections are attacks of dark powers against you. They can be arrows of sickness, untimely death, accident, pain, misery, poverty, diseases, and so on. The devil is never tired of doing God's people wicked. That is his forte. This is why the Bible warns us to be sober and vigilant, because the devil who is our adversary is going about looking for who to devour. There are some things that you might have noticed which are going wrong in your life and family. These things are caused by demonic projections that the powers of darkness have programmed. The Word of God made it clear to us in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper, and any tongue that rises in judgment against us, we should condemn. The best thing to do is to come against these projections by using the Word of God. Don't forget that you will decree a thing on earth, and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your path. Who will decree a thing when the Lord has not said it? The Almighty is on your side and knowing this. You should be sure that you are not alone. He has promised that he will fight for you, and you will hold your peace. No one can hurt you because you are the apple of God's eye. There is a part you need to play anyway. It is simply speaking the word of God against all the plans and devices of the wicked ones. What are the things that you feel are going wrong in your family? Stand on your watch and command those things to turn back to normal. Do not fret because you have not been given the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. No matter the numbers that are gathered against you, they cannot be more than who is on your inside. The arrows of the wicked ones targeted at you, and your family will never hit their mark. It is time to pray against any demonic projection that has been sent against you and your family. Remember to pray in faith, knowing that you will receive answers to your prayers. Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus, we thank you Father for making us more than conquerors through you who first loved us. Blessed be your name Lord Jesus because you have rescued us from the traps and pits of the wicked ones. Thank you because the enemies will come against us in one way and will flee before us in seven ways. We say a big thank you because no matter the numbers that are gathered against us, they will always flee before us in seven ways. Thank you Lord Jesus, because all the arrows that are shot against us and our families are going back to the sender. Thank you Father because your word says in Ephesians 6 verses 11 to 13, Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Thank you Lord Jesus because you have given us your whole armor, and by this, we are immune to the attacks of the wicked ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I stand on the word of God, and I decree that all the powers of darkness that are gathered against you and your family will flee before you in seven ways. The word of God says in James 4 verse 7 Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. According to the word of God, I pray that the Lord is giving you the ability to submit to him, and as you do this, all the wicked ones who are gathered against you shall flee before your very eye in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, that the Lord is building a wall of defense around you and your family this instant, and will make you and your family immune to the attacks of the wicked ones who are gathered against you and your family. I ask that the Lord will reveal his judgment against all the workers of iniquity who have sworn to make life unbearable for you and your loved ones. His wrath will be kindled upon all the forces of darkness who are subtly and obviously trying to frustrate his will from manifesting in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verses 1 to 3 says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day. According to the word of God, I declare over you that you will abide under the secret place of the Most High, 
and you will abide under his shadow. And as you do this, you will be free from all the traps and pits that the wicked ones have set for you. The Lord will deliver you from the deadly pestilence that is lurking around you, and all the arrows that have been shut against you won't touch you, because the Lord is your shield and buckler. Deuteronomy 28 verse 7 says, The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you in one way, and flee before you in seven ways. According to the word of the Lord, I pray for you that the Lord will cause all the enemies who are gathered against you to be defeated before your very eyes in the name of Jesus. The Lord is fighting for you, and you are holding your peace against all the wicked ones who are gathered against you and your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Satanic manipulation is a way that the forces of darkness use to control the lives of people. One thing that the blood of Jesus does is that it helps you to fight against the powers of darkness that are gathered against you. We have been given a name that is above every other name, and that name is Jesus. The name of Jesus is as effective as the blood of Jesus. Use the blood of Jesus to annul all the strategies and agendas of the devil and his minions against you and your family. Do not also forget that you have been given the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness, and nothing shall by any means harm you. There are various forms of satanic manipulation, some of which might include strange generational patterns, stagnation, strange disappointment, which was never meant to happen, sudden death and so on. The devil never stops trying, so you should not give the devil a space in your life. The Bible made it clear that we should resist the devil, submit to God, and he will flee from us. When you do these, the devil will have no legal hold over you and your family, no matter how long you and your family might have been manipulated by the kingdom of darkness. You can break free from that manipulation. Today is the best time for us to pray against any satanic manipulation that is subtly operating in our lives and families. We will pray together in faith. Join me as we pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for helping us to have victory over any form of demonic manipulation that is working contrary to your will for us. We bless your name Lord for making us victorious against all the plots and agendas of the wicked ones. We are saying a big thank you to your name Lord Jesus. We are grateful because you have redeemed us from the curse of the law, because you have been made a curse for us. After all, cursed is anyone who hangs on a tree. Lord, we also bless your name because the weapons of the wicked ones against us are destroyed right now by the power in your blood. Lord Jesus, we are grateful because no matter the numbers that are gathered against us and our families, you will always make us come out triumphant. We also magnify and hallow your name because all the spells and enchantment of the wicked ones that are being used to manipulate us are rendered useless this instant. We are grateful, Lord, because all the altars that are being raised against us to manipulate us are scattered and destroyed this minute. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you, against all the forces of darkness that have been assigned to make your lives miserable. I pray that the fire of God will come down upon the heads of the wicked ones who have sworn that they will not give you rest until they see your end in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that the host of heaven will help you in fighting against all the forces of darkness that have sworn to never eat or drink until they see your end. The Son of Man has set you free from all forms of manipulation, and because of this, you are more than conquerors in his name. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 says, Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. According to the word of God, I pray for you, that you will be sober and vigilant, so that you will be able to resist the attack and ploy of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will help you to walk circumspectly, so that you will be discerning to know when the wicked ones want to attack you. You carry the fire of the Holy Spirit, and because of this, you will be untouchable to the attack of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in Psalm 91 that he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, 
my refuge and my fortress, my God, and whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. I pray that you will always dwell in the shelter of the Almighty, and as you dwell in his shelter, you will be safe from the attacks and manipulation of the wicked ones. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that the Lord is fighting for you, and you are holding your peace this season in the name of Jesus. Amen. When God decides to step into a man's situation that has been stagnant for a long time, the man will certainly gain speed. A typical example of this is the story of Obeddam, whose family story transformed in just three months when the Ark of the Covenant came into his home. The Ark of Covenant signifies God's presence. When God came into the house of Obeddam, he received a divine speed that made his life turn around so King David was surprised about how fast his life had taken shape. Not only was King David surprised, but other Israelites who heard his story too marveled. Jabez also was another person who enjoyed divine speed. He was named Jabez because his mother bore him in sorrow. He had to call on God to change his story for good. God honored his prayer and made him more honorable. You might be lagging in some areas of your life, and this could be making you compare yourself with others. You don't need to do this because your journey is different from that person you are comparing yourself with. What you just need to do is to seek God and you will be given the speed that will make those who are ahead of you to be envious of you. In God's way, you can get speed by waiting. Isaiah 40 verse 31 says that they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You can gain speed by waiting patiently on the Lord. Waiting on the Lord means that you stay with the Lord and wait to hear what he will instruct you to do. You will get specific instructions that will make you do things that will give you an edge over others. Today, we will be praying for divine speed. Remember that the Bible said you should ask it will be given unto you. Seek, and you will find. It is time that we ask the Lord what you want. I know you want speed, and you will get that speed when you ask with sincerity and faith. Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father because you will be making us gain momentum more than ever before this season. Thank you Father because you are doing a new thing in our lives and families. Blessed be your mighty and holy name. We say thank you because those things that we have lost in the past are returned to us sevenfold this season. And the devil and his cohorts who have taken the benefits that have been accrued to us are returning them to us. We say thank you blessed Redeemer. Glory, honor, Power and majesty be ascribed to your holy and majestic name, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because those people who have mocked us in the past, because they are ahead of us, will be surprised at the speed we will be moving with this season. We bless your name because this season is a season where we will be revealed as your sons and daughters that we are. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. I will be praying these prayers of declarations over you. Do well to affirm them in faith. I pray for you that you will arise as the sun of a new day. Your light is bursting forth as the dawn of the day. I pray that this season, what others are struggling to accomplish and get, you will get them easily because the greater one lives on your inside in the name of Jesus. I release the ability to run with the speed of the Holy Ghost this time of your life in the name of Jesus. I also pray that the Lord will open your eyes for you to know your Kairos moment where you are supposed to be soaring with the speed of the Holy Ghost. You won't lag because the Lord is carrying you on eagle's wing and making you surpass all those who are ahead of you in the name of Jesus. The Bible made it known to us in Ecclesiastes 9 verse 11. I again saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the warriors. And neither is bread to the wise nor wealth to the discerning, nor favor to men of ability. For time and chance overtake them all. According to the word of the Lord, I pray for you that you will not rely on your ability and skill to make you stand out among the lot. Rather you will trust the Lord to give you speed on every side in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make the right opportunities to find you 
that will give you an edge over people who are ahead of you. You will be favored among the lot because you bear upon your body the mark of Christ. This season, there is an increase for you on every side. You will begin to flourish like a tree planted by the riverside that brings forth its fruit in due season in the name of Jesus. I also pray for you that the Lord will cause you to stand out among your contemporaries and cause lines to fall in pleasant places for you in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. The power to dispel demonic forces lies inside of you. Do not forget that the Bible says that you have been given the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Also, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Your words are powerful, and they are not just ordinary words. The devil and his cohorts cannot hurt you, because you have authority over him and his hosts. Being afraid of what the wicked ones will do against you is an aberration as a child of God. You have not been given the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. All the forces of darkness that are lined up to attack you will fall for your sake, if you can just take your place in Christ. No matter the numbers that are gathered against you, they cannot defeat you because you have been made more than a conqueror through Christ who first loved you. What is that thing that you feel is going wrong in your family? Now is the best time to command that thing that is lifting its head above the knowledge of God to be brought under subjection. We will be casting out all demonic forces that are working to frustrate the will of God for us and our families and we do that together in faith. Join me as we pray together. Lord Jesus, we say a big thank you for giving us the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies. Thank you because you have opened our eyes for us to know who you have made us in you. Thank you because all the gathering of the wicked ones who are plotting to make our lives a mess are brought to judgment. We give you the praise because what the enemies are doing against us can never outweigh the good things that you have started in our lives. Blessed be your mighty and holy name, Lord Jesus. We say a big thank you to your wonderful name, Lord. Father, we are still standing on the premises of your love for us, to give you the praise for all the good and wonderful things that you have started in our lives, which no demonic power can withstand. We give you the praise because your promises for us are yea and amen in your name. Thank you eternal rock of ages. We are sincerely grateful Lord Jesus. There is no one to be compared to your holy and majestic name Lord. In the name that is above every other name. I decree that all the powers of darkness that come against you in one way will flee before you in seven ways. I decree that you are more than conquerors over all the schemes and agendas of the wicked ones who have been assigned to make your lives a living hell. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that anyone who has sworn to neither eat nor drink until they end your lives is exposed and destroyed right now. They will never escape the judgment of the Lord. The Lord is fighting for you, and you are holding your peace in the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in 1 John 4 verse 4 that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I declare that you overcome all the wicked ones who have surrounded you to put you to shame in the name of Jesus. You are more than overcomers, and I decree that all the wicked ones who are subtly operating in your families and the environment that you live in are consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I engage the ministry of angels to war against all the wicked ones who have sworn to make life unbearable for you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus. Any pit that the wicked ones have dug for you to fall into is being fallen into by the ones who dug them. The word of God says in Matthew 18 verse 18 that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. By reason of the word of God, I decree that all the forces of darkness who have been assigned to put you and your families to shame are exposed right now in the name of Jesus. I stand and say that the wicked ones who are manipulating your family subtly and obviously are exposed and brought to judgment. No demonic force will be able to hurt or harm any of your loved ones because the Lord has built a wall of defense around you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus speaks a better thing than the blood of Abel. When you call on the blood of the Lamb, 
you are using it as a weapon of offense over the attacks of the wicked ones. The devil has sworn that he will not give you rest until he sees your end. You must come against the devil and all his schemes. Who the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. You have been set free from the oppression and affliction of the evil ones. But this does not mean that the devil will stop trying to attack you. You have to make the victory you have been given in Christ Jesus effective. Many believers do not know how to appropriate the blood of Jesus rightly to combat the wicked ones who are ganged up against them. This is one of the reasons why the wicked ones are still afflicting them. You have the blood of Jesus always at your disposal. It can never get exhausted, and it is efficacious and potent. As a child of God, you have overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of your testimonies. The devil and all his minions are defeated foes already, and you are trampling them with the authority that you have been given in the name of Jesus. Today, we will be using the blood of Jesus to come against all the devices of the wicked ones that have been targeted at our families. The blood of Jesus has never failed, and it won't fail now. Let us pray together. In the name of Jesus, Father we thank you for helping us defeat all the wicked ones who are gathered against us and our families. Thank you Father because no matter the numbers of the evil ones who are gathered against us, you have made us triumph over them in faith. We bless your name Lord, because you have made us more than conquerors through you who first loved us. Blessed be your holy name Lord Jesus. We also bless your name because your blood will always give us victory over all the devices of the wicked ones. Glory be to your name Lord Jesus. We give you the praise and adulation. No one deserves all the praise aside from you, Father. We say a big thank you because because of your blood, you have made us escape all the plans of the wicked ones to hurt us and our families. We are saying thank you because your blood is a weapon of offense and defense over all the traps and pits of the evil ones that have been placed strategically to hurt us. Your word says we should enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. And by this knowledge, we are entering into your gates, Father, with thanksgiving, and also entering into your courts with a big shout of praise. Glory be to your mighty and holy name, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the blood of Jesus will fight for you and your family. The blood of Jesus will protect you from the onslaught of the wicked ones who are gathered to hurt you and your family. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the blood of Jesus will speak against all the wicked ones who are hell-bent on frustrating all your efforts. Hebrews 10 verse 19 says that you have the confidence to enter the Holy of Holies by the blood of Jesus. According to the Word of God, I pray that you will always have the confidence to enter into the Holy of Holies in the name of Jesus. No matter how you might be feeling condemned, you will always come to God with boldness and confidence because you know that the blood of Jesus is speaking for you. In the name of Jesus, I stand on the word of God and decree that all the generational patterns working contrary to the will of God for you and your family are broken right now by the power in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the powers of darkness that are gathered to make your life miserable are scattered. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the fire of the Lord is consuming all the objects that are being used to place your life under siege. The word of God says in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, and any tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. According to the word of the Lord, I decree that all the weapons of the enemies that are being used to afflict you and your family are destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the things that you have lost in the past due to generational patterns are restored sevenfold. The Bible made it known to us that if a thief is caught stealing something, he must restore that thing sevenfold. I therefore pray for you that all the benefits that you are meant to enjoy that have eluded you due to these curses working against you are yours right now in the name of Jesus. I decree that every legal hold of the enemy against you and your family is broken right now. Through the blood of Jesus, you and your family have been set free from every curse that is running in your lineage in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord will fill your mouth this very minute. I pray that you will begin to effectively use the word of God against all the devices of the enemies working subtly and obviously in your family in the mighty name of Jesus.
in the name that is above every other name. I pray that all the instruments of attack of the wicked ones are destroyed right now. I send the fire of God to consume all the weapons of the wicked ones that are being used to afflict your family in the name of Jesus. I call down the judgment of God upon the heads of the enemies who have sworn not to allow you to enjoy the blessings of God. The Word of God says in Psalm 84 verse 11, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. By God's word I pray for you, that the Lord will always be your sun and shield protecting you from all the traps and pits that the wicked ones have placed on your path. Since the Lord is your shield, you are immune from all spiritual attacks of the wicked ones. Your family will also be safe and secure from all the devices of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I come against all the gathering of witches and wizards that are gathered to send projections that will cause you pain and sorrow. I pray that the Lord will show you his great and mighty side and fight for you. The Bible says in Exodus 14 verse 14, The Lord will fight for you, and you will hold your peace. By God's word, I decree over you that the Lord will cause his face to shine upon you and make your enemies to flee before you in seven ways. The angel of the Lord is encamping around you and your family and will cause you to dwell in safety and security in Jesus' name. Whatever might have been stolen from you in the past, as a result of the attacks of the wicked ones, is being recovered by U right now in Jesus' name. All curses and enchantments that have been said against you are broken by the blood of Jesus. You know that Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. He has been made a curse for you, because cursed is anyone who hangs on a tree. By this knowledge, I decree that all curses that are still subtly in operation in your lineage are broken right now by the power in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has wiped clean the slate. Therefore I decree that all the things that are working contrary to the will of God for you and your family are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Anything that has been stolen from you is returned sevenfold by the power in the blood of Jesus. I declare that any evil altar that the wicked ones are using to perpetrate evil in your family is destroyed right now because of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is fighting for you, and you are holding your peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The very first thing I want you to know is that the Lord will never put any man in captivity. He is a God who respects the will and choices of man. It is often the devil and his cohorts that put a man in captivity. It is never the will of the Lord for a man to be under the captivity of the wicked ones. The wicked ones put a man under captivity in many ways, either subtly or obviously. Some of the ways a man can be in captivity are obsession, possession, manipulation, oppression, repeated patterns and cycles, strange diseases, and so on. I have wonderful news for someone today who might be under any form of captivity. The good news is that Jesus can deliver you from that captivity the enemy has placed you in. It doesn't matter how long you have been placed in captivity. What matters is that the Lord can save you. The word of the Lord says that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The Lord is ready to save you from any form of oppression you might be going through. The captives of the mighty can be delivered, no matter how strong the captor might be. God's word also says that whoever the Son of Man sets free shall be free indeed. You are God's prized possession, and God is ready to set you free from any captivity that you have been placed in knowingly and unknowingly. It is time that we break every chain of captivity you have been tied to. We will pray together in faith. Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus. I decree that all the powers of darkness that have placed your family in captivity are destroyed right now. I declare that the hold of the powers of darkness in your life and family is ending right now, as the Lord is rescuing you and your loved ones from the mouths of the wicked lions that are in your family. In the name that is above every other name, I pray for you that the Lord is sending fire from his throne room to consume the gathering of the evil ones that have been assigned to keep you in captivity in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Exodus 14 verse 14 that the Lord will fight for you and you will hold your peace. According to the word of the Lord, 
I pray for you that the Lord will fight against all oppressors who are working hard to frustrate the will of God for you. The Lord will reveal himself strong and mighty for you and your family. Those evil patterns and cycles that have made you go around in circles are broken right now by the power in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Galatians 5 verse 1, that it is for freedom that Christ set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let you yourselves be burdened by the yoke of bondage. According to God's word, I pray for you that the freedom that Christ has given to you will remain permanent, and you will no longer burden yourself by the yoke of any sort of bondage. You will walk daily in the freedom you have been given, and no force of darkness will withstand you in Jesus' name. Nahum 1 verse 13 says that the Lord will break yokes from off your necks, and he will tear your shackles away. The word of God is infallible and ever true. And because of this, I decree over you that the Lord is removing every yoke from your necks, and the shackles of darkness are falling off you, and the members of your family in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the bondage that you don't know about which is prevalent in your lineage will not have a hold over you. The chains of delay, lack, poverty, disease, and every other thing that is outside the will of God, for you are broken right away in Jesus' mighty name. Isaiah 10 verse 27 says, In that day, the burden will be lifted off their shoulders, and the yokes will be removed from your necks because of the anointing. I pray for you that this very minute all forms of burdens that the wicked ones have placed on your shoulders are removed, and the yokes of bondage are removed from your necks, because the anointing of the Holy Ghost is at work on your inside in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus to neutralize all curses, enchantments, spells, hexes and divinations that have placed you in captivity. You will no longer be party to these negative words, because no enchantment and divination against you shall not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There are times when we will need the intervention of God in matters that we cannot control. There are many issues that your idea, intellect, skills, technical know-how and connection cannot help you solve. That is the time that you will realize that you need the help of God more than any other thing or person. The word of the Lord says that anyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The best time to call on the name of the Lord is now. You don't have to wait till when you are overwhelmed before you do that. There is a cliché statement among people which goes thus. Heaven helps those who help themselves. That is a false statement. God doesn't need you to help yourself before you call on him to come to your rescue. There are things that you might be going through right now in which God is the only one who can understand and come through for you. When you have come to the end of yourself and there is nothing else you can do, you can always run to him. He won't cast you away. Now we will be crying for the intervention of God in areas where we know we have come to the end of ourselves. Join me as we pray together. In the name that is above every other name, I pray for you that the Lord will meet you at the very point of your need. All your heart desires are granted, and you won't ever be stranded again, as the Lord will bring you out of that unpalatable situation that you are in presently in Jesus' name. I release God's favor upon your countenance, which will make you the favored one among the lot. The word of God says in Matthew 7 verse 7 that you should ask, and it will be given unto you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened unto you. I pray that this very minute, you will ask the Lord for that thing that has been troubling your heart, and you won't be scared of asking him, even if it might sound stupid to you. I ask that all that you seek and you haven't found will be given to you easily as the Lord will release a supply of resources to you in the name of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 says, no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with a temptation will also make the way of escape, that you may be able to bear it. I pray for you that the Lord will help you to overcome any temptation that will come your way and will make you not fall prey to any temptation that will make you deviate from what he has called you to do in Jesus' name. You will be able to stand strong even in the face of temptations. The Lord is sending you help from the sanctuary this season in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you won't lack help when you need help as the Lord will impress it in the hearts of the right people to help you. 
Those areas where you need specific help which have been eluding you for a while now are being given to you now in Jesus' name. I speak help into your life. You are mightily helped and favored whether the wicked ones like it or not in Jesus' name. Genesis 21 verses 1 to 2 says, And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. I pray for you that the same way God intervened in the life of our mother in faith, Sarah, that is the same way he will intervene for you in that situation that you have given hope on in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will visit you in a way that you never expected this season. You will be surprised by the way he will come through for you and shut the mouth of the mockers who have been making a mockery of you asking you where is your God in Jesus' name. Just like the way blind Bartimaeus cried for the help of Jesus, and he never stopped crying until the Master came to his rescue. That is the same way you won't stop asking the Father what you need until your requests are granted in Jesus' name. Your persistence to knock on heaven's door will increase much more this season, and as it increases, the Lord will meet you at the very point of your need in Jesus' name. In the name that is above every other name, I pray that the angel that God has assigned to give you what you have been asking will locate you right now. That mountain that seems insurmountable is leveling up right now in the name of Jesus. Valleys are being raised for your sake and drylands will become a fertile land for you and your loved ones in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Demonic yokes are limitations that are placed on someone to impede that person's progress. There are many kinds of yoke, some of which are lack, sickness, poverty, stagnation, demotion, retrogression, and so on. Anything that will make you become less of who God has made you is a yoke. You must not be casual about dealing with them. These yokes might stay for a long time if you allow them to linger. What are the things that you feel are not going right in your life and family? Those things can be dealt with no matter how long they might have stayed. The power to say a thing, and it is established to you, is in the power of your tongue. The devil never stops trying and won't rest until he sees that the children of God are annihilated. This is the foremost reason you must be able to come against the devil's devices using the name of Jesus. No matter how strong the enemies might be, you have someone who is referred to as Jehovah Sabaoth, which means the Lord of hosts. He is also called Omnipotent, the all-powerful God. I know for sure that all the yokes upon your shoulders are lifted today, whether the devil likes it or not. You might also be the one who might have limited yourself due to the negative things you have said to yourself in the past. Your words can either be spirit and life or spirit and death. If you speak God's word, you are speaking life to yourself, and in the same vein, if you speak negative things which are often what the devil wants you to say, you speak death into your life. I know this has happened already, but there is still time to revoke and renounce the negative things you have said to yourself in the past. You do that by speaking God's word continually into your life and saying what and who you see yourself. Lastly, you can limit yourself by refusing to cast your burdens at the feet of Jesus. The word of God made it clear to us that we should cast our cares to the Lord, for he cares for us. Refusal to cast your cares upon the Lord has a way of limiting you, because you have beclouded your mind thinking that there is no way out of that awry situation that you are in. I might not know the things that you are going through presently, but I sure know that there is a solution for those things in Christ Jesus. Just simply cast your cares upon him. Join me as we pray together and break all the yokes of limitation and stagnation that have been placed upon us. Let us pray. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the yokes of limitation that the wicked ones have placed upon us are removed right now. I use the weapon of the word of God to uproot anything that has placed you on a spot and not make you have a headway. I declare over you that the Lord will silence all the powers of darkness who have been assigned to place bondages upon you and your loved ones in Jesus' name. I stand on the word of God, and I decree that all the negative things that you have said to yourself in the past that are limiting your progress in life are revoked right now in the name of Jesus. I begin to speak life upon every dead situation which seems to have no hope. As far as you are in the Lord Jesus, 
There is hope for you. Therefore I decree that the Lord will bring you out of that miry clay and valley that you have unconsciously placed yourself, and that the wicked ones have placed you in the name of Jesus. I speak deliverance out of that trap and pit that has put you in a spot for a long time. I send the angel of the Lord to rescue you out of the traps and pits of the evil ones in Jesus' name. The name of the Lord saves when being called upon, therefore by this knowledge, I call on the name of the Lord to bring you out of that mess. You are found to a place of bliss and rest in the name of Jesus. I call on the name of Jesus and decree that any generational patterns and cycles that have kept you in one position for a long time are broken right now. I use the weapon of the blood of Jesus to annul all curses, spells, divinations and enchantments against you and your family in Jesus' name. The Son of Man has set you free, and by the reason of this, you walk in total freedom amidst all the stagnation and limitations that are around you. You won't be restricted again as the Lord will cause you to break forth on all sides. This is the lowest you will ever be as your story will be from glory to glory and from grace to grace in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that all the weapons of the enemies that have been employed to limit and stagnate you are destroyed right now. The fiery anger of the Lord is judging the altars of the wicked ones that are being used to send projections against you which are meant to limit you. You are more than a conqueror through Christ who first loved you. The chains holding you down are shattered right now by the sword of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The zeal of the Lord needs to consume you for you to be able to do exploits for the Lord. As a child of the highest, you have been called to be red hot for the Lord and to also be a terror to the camp of the enemies. It is either you are hot or cold. You can't be lukewarm as God hates it when you are lukewarm. As the altar in the Old Covenant was always burning without the fire being extinguished, that is the same way you are to be on fire for the Lord day in and day out without your love for God dying out. You are to do a part by ensuring that you fellowship with a person of the Holy Spirit every day to keep your fire burning. When you are burning for the Lord, it will be easy for you to do great and mighty things for the advancement of God's kingdom. Your fire might be going down gradually due to the many distractions around you. You might have lost your first love for God. You might find it difficult to pray and study the word. You might find it burdensome to go for evangelism and do some other things for the advancement of God's kingdom. All these happening to you does not mean that God has abandoned you or that he doesn't love you anymore. He still very much loves you, and he is always ready for you to run back to his open arms. As a matter of fact, he still misses the good times you once had with him. It is never too late to go back to your first love. The zeal of the Lord will consume you this season. I know for sure that this will happen to you this season. Your love for God will be rekindled now as we pray together. Join me as we pray together. Lord Jesus, we thank you for placing your love in our hearts for us to know what you have done for us. We thank you for making us know that you love us despite our shortcomings and our little acts of unfaithfulness. Thank you Father because you have placed upon our hearts a zeal that will consume us for the rest of our lives. Glory be to your mighty name. Thank you because you are helping us acknowledge all that you have placed within us. Thank you Father because you will help us to chase after you just like the way the deer pants after the waters. We bless you Lord because you have made us long after you despite all the distractions that are around us. Thank you blessed Redeemer. You are worthy of our praise Lord Jesus. Your word says that blessed is the man who puts his trust in the Lord, which means that putting our trust in you, we are confident in seeking your face daily despite all the things that are around us, which has been strategically placed to distract us. We know that you have placed eternity in our hearts, and that is the reason why we have communion with you daily. Glory be to your mighty name, Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord says in Proverbs 23 verse 17 that you should not let your heart envy sinners, but you should live in the fear of the Lord. According to the word, I pray for you that the Lord will help you fear him all the days of your life, and you will trust in his leading for you, and as you do this, your fire will increase. I pray that you will be empowered not to be distracted by sinners who are living in false prosperity. No one will be able to deceive you out of God's love in the name of Jesus. 
In the name that is above every other name, I pray for you that you will be empowered and energized to do exploits for the kingdom of God. Daniel 11 verse 32 b says, They that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. I pray for you today that you are strong in the Lord, and you will be energized to do great and mighty things for God. Just like how Jesus Christ of Nazareth was anointed with the Holy Ghost and power, who went about doing good, healing all those that are oppressed by the devil for God was with him. That is the same way you will go about doing great and mighty things for the Lord because the zeal of the Lord's temple is consuming you. Romans 12 verse 11 says, Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. This is the word of the Lord which stands sure and is infallible. Therefore I pray for you that you will no longer be slothful in business, as you will be fervent in the spirit always, and you will serve the Lord diligently and committedly in the name of Jesus. Any form of distraction that will make your fervency drop is taken away from you right now in the name of Jesus. This season will mark the beginning of your spiritual fervency and diligence in serving the Lord. According to Matthew 6 verse 33 which says, Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. You will seek the propagation of God's business first before any other thing. You will go about doing the great commission of preaching the gospel wholeheartedly. Psalm 69 verse 9 says, For the zeal of the Lord's house has consumed me, and the reproaches of those who reproach you have fallen on me. I declare over you that the zeal of the Lord will consume you from today, and it won't die out, and you will also not be ashamed of doing the will of the Lord per time and season despite all the reproaches you might face in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The devil and his minions' primary objectives are to kill, steal and destroy. They are highly organized, even when they don't have love among themselves. This is because their mission makes them align together. You must submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. When you are faced with adversaries, you are to call on the name of the Lord to help you fight against them. Even though you have been given the authority to trample upon the wicked ones who are gathered against you, you still need divine reinforcement to make it easier for you to have victory. No one who is on the Lord's side is exempted from the attacks of the wicked ones. The Word of God made it clear to us that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and also casting down all imagination that raises its head against the knowledge of God. The enemy has several strategies for pulling down God's children, and some of them are through oppression, depression, suppression, obsession, manipulation, possession, and so on. You know that you are under attack when you begin to sense and perceive that some things are out of place in your life and family. It is time we call on the name of the Lord for him to deliver and protect us from the wicked ones. Remember that Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you know not. This is the right and perfect time for you to call on God to deliver and protect you from the enemy. Join me as we pray together. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that the wicked ones who are fighting against you and your family are brought to judgment this very minute. I pray for you that the fire of the Lord will expose and consume all the workers of iniquity who have been assigned to make life unbearable for you. The Lord will arise in his holy indignation and silence all your mockers who are waiting to rejoice over you in Jesus' name. You are untouchable to the wicked ones. The Lord will rain his judgment on the heads of all your adversaries who are pretending to be your friends. By the power that is embedded in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will open your eyes to see all the traps and pits the wicked ones have placed for you. You will never be ignorant of the devil's devices this season. I further pray for you that you will learn how to redeem yourself from all the wicked plots of the wicked ones who have sworn not to give you a breathing space. This season is a season of great discernment for you to know the agenda of the devil and his minions against you and your family in Jesus' name. I stand on the word of God and decree that all the wicked ones who have plotted to demote you and cause you to stagnate are exposed and disgraced wherever they are in the name of Jesus. 
The Lord is magnifying you and disgracing all your enemies this season. This is the last time you will be susceptible to the attacks of the evil ones who are subtly operating in your life. You won't be prey to the mouth of the evil lions who are set to drink your blood in Jesus' name. The fire from the throne room is exposing the confederacy of the evil ones who are plotting to cut short your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verse 1 says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I pray for you that throughout the remaining days of this year, you will continually abide under the secret place of God, and you will be found under the gentle watch of the Most High. You will never stray out of God's protective care due to negligence and disobedience in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will cause all those who have been incensed against you to be put to shame and cause you to sing a new song of victory over the works of darkness. Just like how the psalmist in Psalmist 35 verse 1 was calling on the name of the Lord to plead his cause against all that strive against him, and that the Lord should take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for his help. According to God's word, I pray for you that the Lord will plead your cause against all household and external enemies who are fighting tooth and nail against you and your family in Jesus' name. All the weapons and pieces of machinery of the wicked ones that have been deployed against you are destroyed right now. You are free indeed, because the Son of Man has set you free from the curses, enchantments, divination, spells and hexes of the wicked ones in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you have stayed in a spot for too long, it is a sign that you need a breakthrough. Breakthrough is what you need when you have been stagnant for a long time. The Word of God says in Philippians 4 verse 19 that the Lord will supply all your needs according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. This means that God is a God who is interested in the breakthrough of His children. There are many kinds of breakthroughs, some of which are financial breakthroughs, marital breakthroughs, spiritual breakthroughs, academic breakthroughs, and so on. These breakthroughs don't just come ordinary and on a platter of gold. You have to pay the price for some breakthroughs and some others. You need the divine intervention of God for you to have it. The Lord is the only one who can give you a genuine breakthrough. The world might offer to give you a temporary form of breakthrough, which looks too good to be true. And if you are not discerning enough, you will think that it is the Lord who is stirring the hearts of people to favor you. This season, you must be able to discern in your spirit what God is doing in your life so that you won't miss your Kairos moment. Kairos moments are moments when God gives his children certain degrees of breakthrough. You can be a partaker of that divine breakthrough that God has prepared specially for his children. No matter where you are and no matter your age, you can enjoy a breakthrough that defies the laws of nature and men. This season the Lord is ready to give you a breakthrough. Are you also ready to receive that breakthrough? We will be praying together for breakthroughs that will cause you to be a wonder in your generation and generations after you. Join me as we pray together. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that the Lord will cause you to experience a breakthrough that will shake your world and make you a wonder to many generations. I pray for you that in areas where you have been stagnant for long, you will experience a breaking forth that will make you go on a speed that will surprise all those who have written you off in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord is opening your eyes to know areas where you need a big breakthrough. Proverbs 3 verses 9 to 10 says, Honor the Lord with your substance and with the firstfruits of all your increase. Then your barns will be filled with plenty and your winepress shall burst forth with new wines. I therefore pray for you now that you will learn how to always honor the Lord with your substance and with all the good things that the Lord has blessed you with, and as you do these, you will experience a financial breakthrough that will blow your mind and shock the naysayers around you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will not be a slave to your material possessions. Rather you will learn to know that the Lord is your source and not men. Your pocket will never run dry this season as you keep on giving to the cause of kingdom advancement in Jesus' name. I release the oil of breakthrough to flow from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. This oil will never run dry in your life. You will always be someone who breakthrough gravitates towards. 
I decree over you that the chains of stagnation and limitations are breaking right now in your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree over you that you won't be stranded when you need help. According to the word of the Lord in Psalm 1, you will be like a tree planted by the riverside that brings forth its fruit in its season and whose leaves never wither in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will be productive this season as the Lord will show you the right strategies to employ that will make you stand out among the lot in the name of Jesus. Just like the Lord gave Jacob a divine revelation in one night, which brought him a breakthrough. That is the same way the Lord is dropping a new idea that has never been conceived before which will cause a shift in your life and make you break through on every side in the name of Jesus. 3 John 2 says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. I therefore pray for you that you will prosper on every side, and as you prosper materially, your health will never fail you in the name of Jesus. This season is your season of manifestation on every side. You won't be lacking of good things that you need to fulfill God's agenda. The floodgate of abundance of resources are opened for you and your family in Jesus' name. Scarcity or lack will never be heard in your borders and in your territory. You will lend to nations and kings will come to the brightness of your rising in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The will of God is encapsulated in his word. God's will for his children is that they prosper and be in health, even as their soul prospers. You should know that God wants the best for you and your family, and he wants nothing short of that. Your family might be going through unfavorable situations which are contrary to the will of God. But you can stand as a priest to enforce the will of God for your family. The will of God is often opposed to coming to fruition by the devil and his cohorts. This is the foremost reason you must stand as a priest to ensure that the will of God sees the light of the day. No matter what your family might have lost in the past, it is still possible to recover those things. The thoughts of God towards you are that you walk in full manifestation of all the good things that God has in store for you as his child. Today, we will be enforcing the will of God in our families. The word of God is in our mouths, and do not forget that we are kings and our words are laws. As I will be making these declaration over you and your family, do well to receive these prayers in faith. Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus, Lord we thank you because the thoughts you have towards us are of good and not of evil to give us an expected end. We bless your name Lord because your will for our lives will be manifested from today and no force will prevent it from coming to pass. Lord Jesus, we bless your name because your will for our families will make our families stand strong in the face of unsavory situations. We bless your name because your promises for our families are yea and amen in you. We know that in your time, all the good things that you have in store for our families will begin to see the light of the day. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that the promises of the Lord over your family are manifesting right now whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not. I pray for you that the will of the Lord for your family will not be truncated with your hands and it will never be delayed by the powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will expose the agenda of the wicked ones to truncate his will for you and your family in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will arise in his mightiness and scatter all the enemies of your family who are fighting tooth and nail to prevent the will of the Lord from coming to manifestation in your family. I decree over you and your family that the fire of the Lord will expose all the hiding corners of the wicked ones who are strategizing and putting their pieces of machinery in place to frustrate your family out of God's will for it in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that a mother might forget her suckling child, but the Lord can never forget his own. I pray for you and your family that the Lord will ensure that he hastens to perform his promises and covenant over you and your family in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord is enforced in all areas of your life and family whether the devil and his agents like it or not in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that the fire of the Lord is consuming all household wickedness who are pretending to be friendly and delaying the will of God from coming to fruition in your families in Jesus' name. 
The Lord is exposing all unfriendly friends who are working against God's will for your family. You will be discerning enough to know the people who have been sent to distract you and your loved ones out of the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says in Matthew 7 verse 7 that we should ask, and it will be given to us. We should knock, the door will be opened unto us, and we should seek, we will find. I pray for you that you will keep on persisting in the place of asking, knocking and seeking until the will of God begins to manifest in all areas of your life and family in the name of Jesus. The waiting power and ability have been bestowed upon you to seek the face of the Lord until there is a shift in your family in Jesus' name. Luke 18 verse 1 says that men ought always to pray and not to faint. I declare over you that since you are the priest in charge of your family, you won't stop praying over every member of your family. You won't get weary in the place of prayers as you stand in the gap for your family in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for hearing and answering our prayers. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. God bless you richly.